So let's uh, move on a little bit further and talk about text favorites. Now, again, bear in mind that there's values in um, a database and there are values in the uh, civil properties and they're embedded on the graphical elements. So as a recommendation, I would say wherever you can, if you're going to set up a text favorite to annotate a value, if it's available in the uh, the civil properties, use it from there because then it will be available through a reference. So let's have a look at this. If we select a conduit, then in the civil properties, we can see that there's a feature category and it shows the feature definition that that conduit uses. If I right click, I can get to edit feature definition. And if I expand the structure, we can see the annotation group that's being used by the feature definition. Knowing that, we can go to the Project Explorer and under annotation groups, we can see the group here and I can right click manage. And if I look in the text category, I can see the name of the text favorite that's being used. Knowing that, I can open the Text Favorite Manager and the DGN library that contains the Text Favorite, and then I can select the Text Favorite and view its properties. Because the favorite's in a DGN lib, the properties are read-only, so I'm just going to right-click and copy it into the active file so that we can see the properties in a bit more detail. So this particular text favorite is going to annotate the description, length, slope, and material for a conduit. Now, if I click on one of these properties, we need to look and pay attention to where the value's coming from. Now, we can see that it's coming from the utility link. All of these properties are. Now, if I browse the structure here, so underneath civil element properties, the field subtype, we can see that we've got access to drainage and utilities. Now, if I pick from the drainage folder here or from the utilities folder here, that's going to access properties from the database. So, for example, conduit element manager, physical, uh, length construction, for example. Now, that text favorite will only work if it's got access to the database and it will only have access to the database if the design file that contains it is open. So most times you'll want to use the properties from the graphics. So if we just go back to the graphics and we select the properties again, note the drainage and utilities category and the drainage results category. And if we go back to our text favorite manager and we go drainage and utilities link, there's a few properties for the feature definition, but the utility link contains most of what we're going to need. So there's the drainage and utilities category and the drainage results category. And because these categories are accessing properties that are on the graphics, they'll be available through a reference. So I'm going to delete this copy of the text favorite. And now we'll go to Annotate Element. And we've already selected the conduit, so our data point, and there's the annotation of it. I want to delete that annotation because I mean the design file that contains the drainage data. Now I'm going to swap to a file that is empty. It's actually a container file. And it references the drainage data. So if I get on my references dialog, here is that reference, the design file we were in a moment ago. I'll turn on its display. Now I'm going to use annotate element again. I'll pick that conduit, reset, and you see exactly the same annotation. And that is because the text favorite, as we've seen, is using properties from 
the graphical element so those are available across a reference and can be used in annotation. I'll just pick up on one of the um, Q&A questions there. As you might have seen, that annotation that we uh, that I was annotating there included the size of the conduit. In that particular case, it was a 450 mil diameter conduit. Okay. Now, what we use for that is the description field in the feature definition, because in the software, we cater for a whole range of different shapes of conduit. So we don't display diameter necessarily because we need to allow for box and egg shape and all, all of those other different shapes. But the description field from the feature definition is, uh, is, is normally the value that you'll want to annotate. So um, that's what I've done to get, in this case, the conduit diameter to appear. Okay, uh, I'm just going to plug one of the previous answer hour sessions here um, that was done um, back in May. So uh, uh, Claudio uh, did a session on um, text favorites, um, not specific to drainage, just text favorites in civil generally, but there's a lot of good information in there about setting up text favorites. So if you need to look in more detail at um, text favorites and learn more about them, then uh, that's a good answer hour to have a look at. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.